we are approaching the end of the battle. The Dark One have lost, but left behind traps. They left behind programmings, abducting people as children, torturing them to deprogram their soul, their mind, deconstruct their personality, and reinstall programs that were set to be activated as a time clock, a time bomb, when the moment would be right, and this moment is now. We are seeing throughout the New Age and the UFO community, the SSP community, a lot of confusion performed by a recent wave of new people bringing information that contradicts and confuses. This is vastly extended. You know the enemy also could look into time. And a few of us have been targeted. I cannot speak on the behalf of other truthers and experiencers who also are targeted. I can only speak on my behalf. When I came on the scene, I brought up with me my story that I had kept all my life. And it was quite a shock, quite a change, firstly for me. I brought up to the scene names that were never heard before. The names of people, my people, my friends and family. Anax the Egaroth who is one of the five of the Council of Five who has always protected me, my star father. Thorhan Eredion, my rescuer, to whom I'm very close and whom I knew from other times. He is an Ahel from Ashara system. And he's now commander of a fleet in the Galactic Federation of World. Thorhan is just a military. He is just a man, as any other man. Simple, just only born somewhere else and raised in a different culture such as we all are on Earth. Anax and Thoran are not spiritual leaders. They are just people. There has been sadness at few occasions from them because people started to admire them, which is a compliment, but not in the right way. They are not spiritual leaders. They do not have all the answers. They do not have access to all the information either. They are just people. And Thorhan is military personnel from a galactic federation. As a military, he is compartmentalized from higher tactical operations for the safety. And so am I, as an emissary. No one before had heard of Anax or Thorhan, 
No one either before I'd heard about the names Myra and Valnek. Myra is a very common name among the people from the serious systems. But the Myra I know is a medic. And she is not a spiritual leader as well. Her intention, like the other ones, is not to communicate with other people. She has a job and she's very busy. Valnek was part of Thorhan's crew on the scout ship that rescued me. He's a Kahel from Epsilon Eridani. And he's also a military. He has been a fleet commander until recently, same grade as Thorhan, until a person that they had rescued was discovered with a programming from the Dark Fleet. But you know, these programmings that these people have, it doesn't require technology, so it's not detectable by any device, any anything. It's, there's no device inside that carry this program, because these programs are in mind programmings, Montauk methods. You cannot detect them until they switch on. And when it's switched on, they cut with her. Valnek was transferred to a distant star system that he is not in contact anymore. There's no way he can be in contact anymore with anyone on Earth to protect him and ensure his integrity. Of course, this person was cut from all contact with the Galactic Federation as soon as Ardana, the high commander of the battleship of the Pleiadian Federation, the Excelsior, was informed. And she was informed by another mothership, the Zene mothership. This is about Valnek. Nobody on Earth, not even me, is in contact with him to ensure his integrity. And you know, same with Seladion as well, pilot who was part of the, the crew. You know, I am one of these persons that, <laughs> that the dark ones would need to get rid of. So all the people I, I'm in contact with, people who are just my friends, well, the dark knew that I was coming with this, my story. So, there are infiltrations, there are impersonators, and these names of the people I am in contact with are used by some others to discredit me, pretending they are in contact with them. Not other names. You know, the Galactic Federation of Worlds, there are millions, tri trillions of people working for them. Why choose to pretend and claim being in contact with the people I am in contact with? if not to try to discredit me. So this is to tell you that if you think you are visited by either of these names, it is not them. These are dark entities, etheric entities that are playing, pretending to be them, and you are receiving false information. Anax Yegaroth, Thorhan the Ahel, Valnek the Kahel, Myra the Tashkeru, and Seladio are not communicating with other person except myself and also Commander Ardana. So if you 
are yourself approached by people pretending to be them it is not them or even me <laughs> which is even we more weird you must be very careful it is a time where you know they try to manipulate those who have ability to communicate if you want to carry messages from the stars be in contact with your own contacts your own family so this is just a reminder that you need to be very careful to what you hear and what other people pretend they are manipulated and they have been installed programmings and the best way the, you know the best liar is a liar who believes in his lies this is why they implant false memories and they will fight nails and teeth because these people are driven by vanity and ego this is why they've been picked so i am just telling you this because it is my job it is not an easy job to be emissary it's a military position a diplomatic position I cannot always tell what I know but when it is necessary I tell things as they are because I'm doing my job however I am judged I am working on for the truth and this truth I protect it on my life on my name, with my heart, my passion, because I came here to do a job, to help the humans of Terra, to keep hope, to remember who they are, to remember what their power is. Do not seek out word what you can achieve in words. You are all Stargates.